Hey, welcome back to Wet the Face, and I'm glad you're here because uh, we have something new. Um, <clears throat> this was actually sent to me uh, quite a while ago, but uh, I never had a chance to use it. And uh, now I get to show everyone. So let me just open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. I'll put it right like that. So in this box, we have a leaf, and it's the twig. You see that? Comes in this little small package here. Has a, uh, a little bill of sale. So what I'm going to do, there's nothing more interesting in this box. So I'm going to just put this box aside, close it up. Put it here and now concentrate on this so like I said this is the twig and its slogan is this the single blade razor and this one is gold I decided to get the gold one um, a plastic free shave for a smooth classic feel and that is what its slogan is so I'm gonna take this and open it up we have like an embossed leaf symbol right there and here is the leaf there you have it so it does come with a um, a package of blades because this particular product uses half blades I do believe so they're showing you how it actually gets installed this is the picture of the process we will do that here and put a blade in so let's just take this out of its case and I'll put this aside and get you a look-see of how nice this is it's not as heavy as it appears and I will try to find my scale Oh, there it is. It's under all this mess. So here is my scale. And I'll turn it around so you guys can see. Let's zero it out. And we'll place the, the leaf on it. And this is 2.4, if I can read that right, ounces. So putting this aside. Uh, we go to the instructions and we see okay so it looks like we twist it and then the the stem so we go like this okay so we're twisting and you could see let me just show that again So this is bringing the top up. Does it come off? Let me see. No, it does not come off. Does it swing? Oh, okay. So actually, when you undo this, when you unscrew this, this will turn to the right. That's exactly what it's supposed to do. So I'm putting this down, and now I'm going to take out one of these blades and they give you approximately five placing it back in here taking it out of its wrapper okay some glue on here so and it says I don't know if you can read that but it says I am not plastic <laughs> so apparently there is an issue with plastic razors so I'm going to place this here 
as like so and then I'm going to close it making sure this is on camera and there you have it this is set to go so the only thing left to do is to shave with it so let's bring this to the den and give it a try here we go hey, welcome back to the den and uh, man what a what a week I've had um, I I fell I fell and slipped on ice at the train station walking down the stairs and uh, I fell all the way down the stairs and there happens to be about nine people that were getting off the train at the same time I was and they rushed over to help me up and um, they were picking up all my belongings and helping me down the rest of the steps and um, I was able to go into my car and uh, and get uh, and get in and drive home and during the course of when I woke up man the pain was unbelievable and um, I'm still in a little pain here uh, so if I wince you know you know that's what it's about because um, it's like someone hit me in the side my left side in the back with a bat I mean just BAM and uh, yeah, that was, uh, I was very lucky. I was very lucky that I didn't hit my head or I think I don't think I would be doing this anymore. It's plain and simple. Um, there are very steep stairs and uh, I, own, I fell almost all the way to the bottom. So um, I'm just lucky and uh, hopefully that the, uh, the injury will get better and uh, and I can go on, you know, with my life. So, um, with that out of the way, I just want you to see that we have the razor in question. Now, I think what I'm going to do is take the, take the blade that I placed into this razor out. So, I'm going to open it up again. I'll try to anyway, because, I don't know, did I pretty much tighten this really tight I think let me just see and I don't want to okay there it is so if I open it up and then that thing turns away I'm going to take this out and I did break a persona so persona blue so I mean I like to I like to test everything with the blades I know so I cracked one in half. I'm going to place that right in there. And it fits perfectly. And I'll show you. And now I'm just going to secure it down. And that looks good. So that's the blade change that's going to happen. I will use this blade at another time and test that out but for this purpose that's what I'm going to be doing and the soap that I'm going to be using which is not really the the focus but we're going to use 1k and that is a uh, based on uh, the uh, Dolce & Cabana light blue and it smells really good <laughs> so uh, that we're going to use, and the the what the face um, wet the face brush, not what the f what the face brush, <laughs> and uh, that's it. So let's uh, put the soap in a bowl and get on with it. Okay, for those who don't know, here's the soap in question. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's very easy to place in the bowl. There you go. So we'll do that right now. Okay, so there's the, the soap in the bowl. It's in there. 
Now I'm going to take the brush, I'm going to wet it, empty the contents of the brush in the bowl, and if I need more water I'll just add it, so here we go. Just change scenes for a second. Yeah, I think we're hitting the sweet spot here. <laughs> so there you go. With that, let's bring this to the face and uh, and do the do the shave. Okay, um, I have about six to seven days growth, so let me with the face. Need a haircut. I can't sit in a barber chair for too long. Not yet, anyway. I'll get there soon. Alright, so here we go. Let's apply this. Yeah, it's going on nice and creamy, nice and thick. There you go. So, all right. Let me just wet that. Here is the twig. And our first shave, here we go. Very nice. Very good. Cleans out really great. Not too aggressive, which is good for me. That's what I like. I don't enjoy a gr an aggressive razor.
The uh, balance on this is quite nice. It's not too heavy. This has the same feel as if I was shaving with my Occam's razor. It could almost give you a false sense that you can't hurt yourself. Wow. Wow. All right, let me just wash you up. surprised I am shocked I am shocked at how great this razor is I would suggest you get one it was uh, it was an amazing shave it was an amazing shave and if you buy a box of 200 if you buy a box of 100 blades you now have 200 blades if you use this so um, I think it's an advantage. I got one of the closest shaves in a long time. Very, very close. I I don't remember if it was if I had an an actual closer shave even with the Occam's razor. I don't know. Now I have to test it out. So I'm shaking up the 1K and I'm going to put some of this on here. And then I'll give you some fun. Oh, I'm going to do more. Sorry. It's really bad when a guy who makes the stuff likes his own stuff. <laughs> So, uh, let me give you my final thoughts because um, it balances very well. 
it handles extremely good, extremely well. Um, the uh, the performance is outstanding. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about this. Uh, the only thing I can say is if you don't like if you don't like cracking the razor blade in half to load one of these, then then you have a problem because it's the only way you know you're going to be able to do that. I guess you can buy them from Leaf already uh, broken, but it's it was a very simple process to to do. Uh, you just leave it in the paper and then you just fold it and it cracks right in half. Um, loading is a little bit of a problem, um, you know, because it's not it's it's not a standard kind of thing. So you got to be careful and you don't know, cut yourself. But those two things are the only drawbacks to this process. Other than that, it's an amazing razor. It's an amazing single edge razor. I highly recommend it. Highly recommend this. I'm shocked. And that is that. And uh, I had a fantastic shave. And I hope you have a fantastic shave too. And I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.